In this video, we're going to see if we can recolor a flower, completely change it, make it our own. And the way we're going to do this is through multiple adjustment layers, which is the best non-destructive way to edit an image. Now, I'm going to go down to the mini bridge here in Photoshop, and I'm going to pick up one of my yellow lilies. And it's a raw file, so it's going to come up in the camera raw. When it comes up here, I am going to uh, honestly not do a lot in here because while I could adjust color and change some colors in here, that's for a different program. We're going we're gonna to just go ahead and click Open Image. So here I have my yellow lily, and we're going to change it and make it have more colors than that. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my original, just so I can keep it around. I'm going to drag it down to the bottom in Photoshop and make a duplicate copy. I'm going to copy up top. We're going to call it Yellow Working. And I'm going to double-click the background layer to turn it into a standard layer. And this layer I'm going to call Yellow Original. It's always important to keep your layers named, okay? Um, it's, it's horrible to open up a document and see, you know, a hundred different file names or, you know, like untitled 59, stuff like that. It just gets on my nerves. So um, layer one here, we got to definitely name our layers. Now, uh, this time I'm going to create an adjustment layer. But before I do that, I'm going to make a selection. I'm going to use my quick selection tool to try and select my entire yellow flower. Okay. And when it goes around, it ends up doing a pretty darn good job of selecting my yellow flower. I'm also going to tell it to refine the edge and have auto enhance on. Now, when I refine the edge, you have to be on any selection tool to get to that. I'm going to change the view to show overlay so I can see my original. And what I need to do is just kind of buff around certain parts that might not be correct. I'm going to enlarge my brush a little bit. This is a very big picture. Mm, let's see, maybe about 87 there. And I'm just going to kind of buff around the edge here say hey Photoshop do your magic there and make sure that I have a nice clean selection. I'm going to hold down space move my um, well, I don't have to move my image I can just move my little panel out of the way and just kind of jump around this just kind of looking for anything in particular it doesn't look like there's any issues I mean it honestly did a fantastic job maybe a little tip on there okay all right and once this gets done, I'm going to have it output it to a selection and click OK. Now, what I need to do is save this selection so that I can get back to it at any time. So I'm going to go select, save selection, and I'm going to call it uh, flower. Now, the selection I've created here is going to be in the channels. And if I ever need to go back to it, I can go to channels and control click it. If you're not seeing your channels menu, just go to window and bring up your channels right there. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and create a new adjustment layer that's down here at the bottom of the layers panel. It looks like a half circle, a circle with a line through the middle. And what I'm going to do is try to just adjust the hue. Now, when I adjust the hue, I can change the color of the image. You see how that works? Okay, but honestly, I want to have a little more control because right now it's doing the whole thing, and you see it kind of gets wonky in areas. So I'm going to move this over and just do a subtle transformation. You know, see it's it, it, zero, it's very yellow. I'm going to just make it a little oranger. Okay, and what I want to do is then adjust my selection some. Okay, to do that, I'm going to paint on my mask now. Uh, you'd have to take the full course to get most of this mask information, but just know that the hue and saturation adjustment didn't f make any of these background areas change color. It only affected the flower. 
And that's because it's been masked. Just like masking tape protects part of your door jam when you're painting your bedroom wall, this black protects this area. And the white is open, so the hue and saturation can adjust the white shape of the flower. If I were to Alt click, I'm going to hold down the Alt key, um, Option key on the Mac, and tap the layer mask here, you'd see what my little mask drawing looks like. If I Alt click it again, it goes away. Now, I want to make sure that there's a four little border rectangle things here, these little corners around this, to make sure I'm working on that. And then I'm going to go to my brush here, and I'm going to set up my brush to be very large and soft. So I'm going to make it pretty big. Not big enough. Let's see. Ooh, there we go. All right. And so somewhere close to 500 pixels is what I'm using. And I want the hardness at zero. So that means it's a very fuzzy brush. And I'm going to make the opacity pretty low as well. Down to 25. Now, if I switch my color to black, to switch my colors here down in the left corner, I can just hit this double arrow. And I want you to see what this does. If I just paint here on top of the yellow, you're going to see that the orange is kind of fading away in that. If I take a look at what my mask looks like, again, alt click it, you can see how I have painted it. And because it's slowly getting darker, the hue and saturation effect is diminishing. I'm going to do that all around. So it's orange, yellow, on the edge. And the reason why we put the opacity down so low is so that we can have a subtle change, okay? A slow change. If you have it really high, sometimes it can cause problems. So there we go. Let's just take a look at what that does. See, it really brings out the orange in the middle. Um, now, if you wanted, you could be more selective in that you could make a new selection. I'm going to go select load selection. This is another way to bring up my flower. I'm going to change my channel to flower. That's a way to get the selection to come up. You can also, I'm going to deselect, go to channels and just control click or command click on the map the little uh, thumbnail for the flower channel. Return to the layers and it does the same thing. Now what I want to do is make a new adjustment layer and uh, let's see let's go black and white now the black and white filter is pretty cool in that you can adjust the colors independently so now this is affecting all the layers below the entire flower but not the background because it's got a mask and if I want to make the reds change color or change to a darker version you see how that's making it darker um, or if I want the yellows to be lighter. So you never know what type of color you're going to get when you go from color to black and white. Well, with the black and white uh, adjustment layer, you can selectively organize your colors so that it looks as much like the original as you want. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there, and then I'm going to start to work some detail mask. To shrink my brush a little bit. Here's a quick tip on the um, PC. You hold down the Alt key and the little uh, right click button or the button on the pen of the tablet and then move to the left and it will shrink your brush. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to erase the effect on these upper petals, the ones on top. So you can see how I can just kind of paint the color back in. And as I paint, it becomes that yellow color again. I'm going to turn up my opacity a little bit so I can get that down a little faster here. I'm going to be very careful as I move around the edge here.
the brush is pretty soft, so I'm going to crispen up the brush here, make the hardness go up, and I'm going to shrink down the size. And I'm going to actually go back and turn it to white. Yeah, I switched to white, so now that's going to return this area here where I went a little too far. It's going to make it black and white again. So you can see how you can recolor one little petal. Now what I want you to do in this video is just continue to play with this, adjusting layers, adding masks. You can go all sorts of ways. You can uh, create a adjustment layer and I'm going to make an adjustment layer of hue saturation and just make everything turn blue for a second. I'm not really seeing it much because, oh there we go, a little, let's see, maybe like there, okay. And uh, right now, the big white mask, notice I didn't have anything selected when I make that, it's affecting everything. It's saying hue, saturation, blue, affect everything. Now it's not doing much to the white and black areas because, well, there's no color to change. But if I delete this layer mask, right click and delete it, I can what is called make an alt mask that is a black mask and essentially what that does is turns off the layer but what this allows me to do is basically paint that blue adjustment layer back into existence so I'm going to switch to my brush again and I'm going to be on white this time because I'm going to reveal I'm going to make my brush a little larger here make it a little softer all right and I'm going to paint some designs right along it. Kind of see how that does. All right, so you can have a lot of fun with this. What I want you to do is see if you can just play with this and uh, add as many layers as you want. Sometimes you get a little confused, so if you're not sure what's going on with the layer, just turn off the eye, and that'll, that'll help you figure out what that particular layer is doing and what maybe you need to do to it. That's it for this one.